So I can't tell you how many times I've had ridiculous conversations about how AI is going to replace developers, software engineering is doomed, and you shouldn't even start. What I want to talk about in this video is what point I keep on coming back to when talking about this topic, because it seems that everyone's worried about it and everyone's curious about how AI and software engineering is going to interact in the future. And I can say with very high confidence, I don't think AI is going to come even close to replacing software engineers. So I guess, who am I? And why do I think I can talk about this topic so much? And the reason is, is that I've been a professional software engineer for about 15 years now. And during that time, I've been through about 28 different engineering teams through consulting and freelancing. I'm currently a full-time freelance software engineer. So I get exposed to a lot of different teams and industries and so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. So first off, let's talk about like what I think of AI as of today and what I think about it in the future. And that's gonna kind of paint the picture of like how I'm gonna answer the question of whether it's gonna replace us or not. So today, AI, what I think AI is great. It, I've been using it for pretty much every day for the past year, and it has actually enhanced how I'm able to do my job. And when I talk to other engineers, it has also enhanced how they work. It doesn't replace their tasks, it, would, it makes them more productive and able to do more. So in that respect, as of today, I think of AI as just, just a tool that allows us to work better. And what do I think about AI in the future is I think it's going to continue down this path of enhancing how software engineers work and are able to provide value and also expose building software to many more industries and not become a replacement. And I can explain later why I think that. So I do want to reiterate is that so far AI has changed how everyone codes today and I love it. It is, it is replacing the stuff about our work that is uh, redundant or, or repetitive or helps us think through things instead of going through and trying to rehash the same idea. It is a huge help to everyone and makes me so much more productive. So let's get to it. So what is the one reason why I think AI will not replace software engineering? And let me explain it uh, in this way. The way I think about it and the way I look at it is I've been on 28 different engineering teams across uh, embedded programming, cryptography, web programming, fintech for, for huge financial organizations, and also probably around like close to like 10 different languages at this point. And I can tell you that there is one thing through all these teams, all these industries, all these engineering groups, there's one thing that they have in common. And that thing in common they have is that there is always more work than there are engineers. There has never been a team I've been on that just just barely had enough work to get by. They've always been swamped. There's always so much more that the business and the company wants to get done and done faster. So that in itself alludes to my point. My point is that businesses and companies are never ever going to say, okay, great. This is so cool. We finally finished our product. I guess software is done. I guess we don't need to build it anymore. We can just lay off all these software engineers. I mean, just think about that. Like, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Like, every business and every company wants to grow and be able to, like, help expand their business and what they're able to do and the people they're wanting to help more and more. So if you're able to have fewer engineers do more work, then they're going to have you do more work. Like, the work's not going to just disappear and all of a sudden everyone's going to be satisfied. That's ridiculous. My prediction actually is still that there's going to be more software engineers needed in the future. And that is because there's going to be more industries that that never were able to build custom software, but now they might be able to if they can hire that one good engineer. There's so many companies that, that sit on the sidelines that are not able to build their own web app, their own custom application to do their business better because it's always been cost prohibitive or there's not enough engineers that know how to quickly do it on a time schedule that works. So that being said, there's gonna be more companies and more businesses like entering the market that's gonna be hiring more engineers as it gets cheaper to do so. So that being said, I'm gonna continue working in the industry because I love it and I feel like it's getting more productive and it's a wild time to be here. And for those thinking about getting into the industry or who are already software engineers today is just embrace the technology and see what you can do to be more productive and handle more workload because that's even more exciting when you're able to not only build one thing, maybe you're able to, to build many things in parallel with the power of AI, cutting through all that crappy work, building that software off the ground floor. This is gonna allow you to do more with the time that you already have. Oh, and a side note, 
I respond to every single comment and I can only imagine that I'm going to get a bunch of wackadoo comments out of this. And I would love, love to talk about any of these crazy ideas that how I'm wrong or any other ideas I didn't even think about. So let's have the conversation in the comments and I'll see you down there too. So also, if you're curious about what I think about software engineering in 2024, I talk about more in this video. So go ahead and check that out if you have the time and I'll see you around for the next one. Thanks for listening, guys. See ya.